a man who loved to travel and spend time with his wife and children. That's how his family is remembering 77-year-old Richard Dujardin. He died yesterday after falling from a downtown Milwaukee drawbridge that raised while he was on it. Mary Jo Ola talked with his family today. She also has new details about the bridge lift that took his life. She joined us downtown with their story. Mary Jo. Carol, the medical examiner's office identified that man who died here again is as Richard Dujardin. Today, his wife wasn't ready to talk, as you can imagine, but his kids were able to share more about his life with us. You got to kick out of the little things in life. He just, um, he loved to laugh and he loved, you know, a free meal at Denny's or he <laughs> loved um, traveling. You know, he accomplished a lot, but he never praised himself. In the face of tragedy, Richard Dujardin's kids raved about him and the life he led. Richard and his wife, Rosemarie, were married for 54 years. Together, they had six children. And he, he really loved my mom. Um, so I, I said uh, the mm -hmm. first and the last thing he said to me was that my mom was a hero. I'm a dad too and I try to be like my own father. Richard was an award-winning reporter for 47 years at the Providence Journal in Rhode Island, mainly covering religion. One of his favorite moments in his life was meeting Pope John Paul II in person and giving him cards that my siblings had made for him. <laughs> so he was very proud of that moment. On Monday, Richard and Rosemarie were vacationing in Milwaukee when he died trying to cross the Kilbourne Avenue Bridge. A report from the medical examiner's office states Rosemarie made it to the end, but Richard was about halfway through when it began to rise. The lights and bells were going off and the protective arms came down. Authorities say Richard was looking at an iPad while walking and hard of hearing. It's believed he didn't notice the alerts. Richard hung onto a railing but fell. The city of Milwaukee's Department of Public Works operates 20 movable bridges to maintain river traffic. The one at Kilbourne Avenue is controlled by an operator in the Water Street Bridge House who uses video to monitor the location. While still in shock, Richard's family says they're leaning on faith. It's his faith that's guided all of us. Now, Richard's family is asking anyone who has footage of what happened on this bridge to come forward and bring it to police. MPD says they isn't believe, there isn't believed to be any criminal aspect to this incident, but the investigation is ongoing. Live in downtown Milwaukee, Mary Joel at TMJ4 News. Yeah, I really feel for his family. Mary Joel, thank you very much. Late this afternoon, Milwaukee's Department of Public Works sent us this statement offering condolences to the family and saying the employee who was operating the bridge has four years experience. He has been placed on leave as this incident is under investigation.